This is your WCFW Daily News Roundup for 105.7 CFW in Chippewa Falls and 93.5 The Tap in Eau Claire. Civic Media News. I'm Terry Bell. Here's what Wisconsin needs to know. We start with Wisconsin's reaction to President Biden's announcement he's leaving the race. Here's Savannah Tomei Olson. Going into the weekend, the number of Democratic leaders calling for Biden to resign just kept growing. One of the voices to join that chorus, Representative Mark Pocan from Wisconsin's 2nd District. I didn't want to put out a state. I had a private conversation with the president when he was in Madison, but I didn't intend to say anything. All in all, more than 30 Democratic legislators ended up publicly pressuring Biden to step down. Savannah Tomei Olson reporting. Senator Tammy Baldwin made her first statement about the situation since speculation about Biden's future began. We also promised to be a bridge to the next generation. And we're seeing that transpire in real time before our very eyes. Baldwin at a campaign rally yesterday in Stoughton. More reactions. Governor Evers says President Biden is a leader who's already chosen unity over division. Wisconsin Republican Party Chairman Brian Schimming says Democrats are subjecting the American people to chaos and uncertainty. Wisconsin Democratic Party Chair Ben Wickler says President Biden will be remembered by history as one of our nation's greatest presidents. Republican U.S. Senate candidate Eric Hovde says for years, Democrats have hidden the truth behind Joe Biden's condition. They were more focused on holding on to power than solving the problems our nation faces. Vice President Kamala Harris campaigns in Wisconsin tomorrow. It'll be one of her first public appearances since rising to the top of the Democratic Party ticket yesterday. Harris's office isn't saying if the latest developments mean changes for tomorrow's visit to Milwaukee. A campaign aide tells the Journal Sentinel there are no changes planned yet. June was rainy enough to get nearly all of Wisconsin out of the drought. The Wisconsin Climatology Office reports most places got at least six inches of rain, which is well above normal. While the drought may be over, there's been a lot of flooding and storm damage throughout Wisconsin this summer. I'm Terry Bell, Civic Media News. Now here's what you need to know closer to home. For WCFW News, I'm James Kelly. A local favorite ice cream shop celebrated its 80-year anniversary over the weekend. According to a WEAU report, Olson's Ice Cream hosted a celebration event at Riverfront Park in Chippewa Falls on Sunday, featuring bouncy houses and ice cream eating contests. The shop on North Bridge Street in Chippewa Falls has been in the same spot for 80 years and has created over 250 recipes over their history. Co-owner Jeremy Hunt said the celebration was a thank you to the community for their years of support. The city of Menominee held their fourth annual Let's Paint the Town event on Saturday. According to a WEAU report, about 200 small businesses participated in this year's event, which featured a car show, live music, and 20 food trucks in the downtown area. Organizers say the event is a great opportunity for those small businesses to connect with the community they service and a great way to just get residents out and about. They say planning for next year's event is already underway and they're hoping to make it even bigger. The Eau Claire County Humane Association will be offering free small animals to residents with an approved application for the rest of the month. According to a Facebook post, the organization is struggling with a lack of space and has needed to delay taking in some surrenders because of it. The small animals will be available in the afternoons from Wednesday to Saturday, and potential adopters can also schedule an appointment if that doesn't fit their availability. The animals include bunnies, gerbils, and guinea pigs. A local nonprofit and a grocery store chain are teaming up to encourage residents to use less plastic. According to a WEAU report, Jonah and hy V are highlighting a nationwide initiative called Plastic Free July, hoping to encourage more community members to get reusable cloth bags and reduce the use of individual plastic bags. During the event, the first 100 people through the door will receive a free cloth bag. hy V will also continue to sell the reusable bags for $1 throughout the rest of the month. The city of Eau Claire is conducting a study on traffic patterns around the city to ensure the roadways can properly serve the growing community. According to a WEAU report, the city will be using an AI-driven camera to track the way area drivers go through certain intersections so the city can determine if any changes need to be made. City officials are also letting residents know that the camera will not be used to issue traffic citations for speeding or running a red light. The camera will be moved three times per week. 
A rendering on a memorial for St. Croix County Deputy Katie Lysing has been released. According to a WEAU report, the Take Action Honor Katie Facebook page released the rendering of the future memorial and shared the progress they've made on fundraising to make the memorial a reality. Deputy Lysing was shot and killed while conducting a traffic stop in May of 2023. A stretch of Highway 128 was recently renamed to Lysing Avenue to commemorate the one-year anniversary of her death in the line of duty. The Eau Claire Parks and Recreation Department is looking for community input for the next five years of Parks and Rec programs. According to a WQOW report, the department is currently developing its comprehensive outdoor recreation plan to cover the next five years and is hoping community members will share their input on what they would like to see added to or changed in the area. The survey can be found on the City of Eau Claire website and asks residents about both future and current programs. Eau Claire's new arena football team officially has its name. According to a press release, the name and logo were revealed by League Commissioner Tim Brown at the main stage at Country Jam on Thursday. Starting in 2025, the Eau Claire Jammers will be the fifth of six teams to join the Arena League for its second season. Officials say that inspiration for the name comes from one of their first corporate sponsors, the Eau Claire Event District, and the series of concerts that take place at the venue like Country Jam. And that's what you need to know. For WCFW News, I'm James Kelly. The Brewers sweep the Twins. Hi, I'm Mike Clemens with sports. The Brewers winning both games in Minnesota over the weekend, 8-4 to four Saturday night, and a game that went 12 innings. Yesterday, they went back and forth with the Twins. Reese Hoskins at the plate, top of the eighth, tied at five apiece. The call on Roku TV. Hoskins to left. Austin Martin back. He's at the wall. He'll jump up, and Martin can't make the play, and that is gone a home run for Reese Hoskins. And Milwaukee regains the advantage here late at target field. The Brewers went on to win 8-7. to seven. Manager Pat Murphy. This was a relentless victory, you know, relentless on the road. Great crowd, great atmosphere, and a really good team across the way. Tonight, the crew opens a three-game series at Wrigley against the Cubs. NFL, the Packers' first training camp practice is today, followed by the annual shareholders meeting. Defensive lineman Kenny Clark signing a three-year extension worth $64 million. He'll earn $29 million this season. The team's still working on a deal for Jordan Love. With sports, I'm Mike Clemens. On your entertainment beat, I'm Pete Schwaba. If you're looking for shows to catch up on, here are some very bingeable episodics that all just received Emmy nominations. In the outstanding drama category are The Crown, Fallout, The Gilded Age, The Morning Show, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Shogun, Slow Horses, and Three Body Problem. In the best comedy category, there weren't many surprises. Nominees are Abbott Elementary, The Bear, Curb Your Enthusiasm, Hacks, Only Murders in the Building, Palm Royale, Reservation Dogs, and What We Do in the Shadows. Actors nominated in various categories include Martin Short, Bill Hader, Jeremy Allen White, and Bob Odenkirk. The Best Actress category includes Christina Applegate, Natasha Lyonne, Riley Keough, and Jenna Ortega. And in the Outstanding Talk Series category, the nominees are The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, The Daily Show, Late Night with Seth Meyers, and Jimmy Kimmel Live. They're all winners. The legendary Bob Newhart passed away last Thursday at his home in Los Angeles. His final acting role was Professor Proton, which he played on The Big Bang Theory and on Young Sheldon, and the cast remembered him fondly. Kaylee Kuko called it a dream to work with Newhart and to witness his genius, calling Newhart classy, kind, and generous. Mayim Bialik says she grew up watching Bob Newhart, and working with him was a dream come true. It's one thing to not wear deodorant, and another thing to admit to the world that you don't. Such is the case with Kate Hudson, who says she goes au naturel, just like her pal Matthew McConaughey. This is really convenient on a movie set when you're not really sure which one of you stinks, and you can blame each other when the crew starts keeling over from the stench. For what it's worth, giving up deodorant is the perfect way to lose a guy in 10 days. If there is a major corporation against birth control, it is probably Netflix. The company continues to add potential viewers by the millions, having just added another 8 million viewers in the most recent earnings quarter. Yahoo News reports the streamer now has 277 million plus subscribers. Netflix reported revenue of $9.56 billion last year, which is way up from the previous year. Even though you're adding subscribers by the millions, don't let that stop you from jacking up the rates. Sometimes there's a reunion of people that is much anticipated, and then there's a reunion like the one between Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie, who are teaming up for another future forgettable reality show. The duo combined their talents to shop on camera on The Simple Life over 20 years ago, which was successful until the Kardashians hit the scene. Hilton and Richie's new show will be a reboot of the original, where every week they received a script that read, try to look sexy, judge others, and contribute nothing to society. For more showbiz fun, tune in to Nightlight with me, Peach Waba, weeknights from 7 to 9 p.m. on The Civic Media Radio Network.
Scattered thunderstorms are possible this afternoon. Otherwise, partly cloudy today with a high of 82. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms 65. Tomorrow, scattered thunderstorms with a high of 78. Cooler, less humid on Wednesday with a high of 75. I'm meteorologist Sean Cable. Currently, it is 66. That's your WCFW and the TAP Daily News Roundup from Civic Media. Subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you find your podcasts. Find more news at wcfw.fm or thetap.fm.